So I don't think we're gonna like get into like anything. Who is that? Name dark. No, I will not. <laughs> uh, I've lived a pretty plain Jade life, so we'll see. Okay, but if you if you want to like cry, just kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then Sorry, what I said violated national security. <laughs> so. uh, if someone could swoop in and like shoot us, that would be great. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. All right. Hey, everybody. Are we, what? Are you good? Hmm? We've oh. been recording. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't say that because that scares me. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Toxic. Actually, I have a special guest all the way from Austin. Brett, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm uh, Brett Reward. I'm a comic based out of Austin, Texas. I'm also a writer and a uh, femme fatale. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, you are. Um, how's it in Austin? How's it going there? Austin's good. I mean, the comedy scene's been booming. Uh, it's keeping me booked, which I love. <laughs> Nothing scarier than an empty calendar. Uh, Speaking of which, where can everybody find you? Oh, you can find me on Instagram at Grandma's Little Shit. Again, that is Grandma's <laughs> Little Shit. Awesome. Okay, we'll have that. I'll have that right down there. Um, and then today we do not have uh, the the beloved. Is it beloved when they're still alive? I don't know. Uh, Josh Cavaza. Yeah, he's beloved. Rest in peace, Cavaza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he's gone. Uh, so we have Christopher Breckel filling uh-huh. in. Taking over the comedy frequency. <laughs> with, uh, this is my studio. Welcome to my studio. <laughs> with Joey's hands on the, on, the, on the buttons. I'm helping. Joey Smith. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I was really excited that we got to like sort of talk before you came on the show because I was like, I've been trying to find... Uh, female to- uh, comics to talk about these movies because I feel like they offer so much more of an insight than t- boys. <laughs> uh, yep, I was last week's guest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, and also, yeah, you were. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. These movies are directed toward us, not them. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's the best ones the best romantic comedies have a little something to offer everybody yeah and yeah. we're gonna get to talk about a couple of those today i and based all my romantic relationships off these movies so oh, i don't know okay. what you're talking about oh yeah titanic specifically yeah. titanic specifically yeah. i just throw women overboard <laughs> <laughs> no i get left in the ocean to die oh okay you identify with the boy all right uh he identifies with the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just um, always holding these women up. <laughs> <laughs> Ally. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, let's get into the first movie. The, uh, Under the Tuscan Sun is the yes. first movie that Chris is going to bring up. Uh, how would you sum up this movie? Like, how would you, uh, to someone that hasn't seen it? Oh, if you haven't seen this movie, you're in for a real treat. Uh, this is about a woman. Uh, she goes through a painful divorce and ends up taking a trip that was gifted to her by her lesbian friends. It's called Gay in a Way. And while like <laughs> and while she's away, she discovers a small uh, villa in Tuscany that she becomes enamored with and decides to renovate and thereby finds herself, finds romance, and uh, falls in love with writing again. Oh, my God. That was a really good synopsis. Uh, and it's Diane Lane. It's Diane Lane. And she's so pretty. Like So pretty. I think I, I thought she was super hot in a... What is the one where Richard Gere goes crazy? Unfaithful. Yes, and Unfaithful. She's like, oh, I'm going to fuck this super... Yeah, Hot I realized as guy. you get older, it's mostly about bone structure. <laughs> you know, like if you're going to age well or not, it's kind of all in the bones. Yeah, agreed. She has good cheekbones. She does. <laughs> yeah, she's going to make a hell of a skeleton one day. <laughs> <laughs> Is she like a renovator? Does she have experience renovating? No, I'm trying to remember this She's movie. an author. Yeah. So she has no experience renovating, so she hires a couple like Polish, like a Polish family <laughs> of Polish immigrants in Italy to help her renovate. Nice. Yeah. She's, cause they're crying because she's old. She I've not seen this mo- movie before. Does she end up falling in love with an Italian man? I think that guy. Uh, is him? Yes, but I won't spoil it. But, you know, it's really about her falling in love with herself. 
which uh, that's why I haven't seen it. I got <laughs> it. <laughs> well, maybe you'll fall in love with Diane Lane too. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, she's like getting her groove back yeah. in a super like uh, affluent way. Yeah, there's between like this and Eat, Pray, Love. It's kind of the genre, subgenre of romantic comedies where a woman like goes through a breakup and is like, "I'm leaving the country." <laughs> Oh my god! I'll, I'm finding love elsewhere. I want to leave the country. Sometimes, that sounds awesome. Depending on how bad the breakup is, you're like, we cannot be in the same like continent. Yeah. Early oh, bidet. I early like bidet early future. bidet talk. I love that. Yeah. Uh, I like a bidet. I don't know. I, I wish there were more of them. Why we're just gonna watch Diane Lane videos now? <laughs> <laughs> Diane Lane deep cuts only. <laughs> That's all YouTube wants. Um, yeah. Uh, so she's a writer, uh, and she's discovering herself and bad breakup. That sounds like a recipe for travel. It does. I, I like. mean, really, they should just have tours for like. Have you been dumped? Tragically, <laughs> it's really a market. I saw that there were they were doing a uh, plane rides for people who want to have like sex in the sky. You can just what? yeah, there's like a specific charter plane I think in like Reno or Las Vegas or something, and they'll just take you around for 45 minutes, and then the pilot will wear headphones. Ew, oh, wow. he's watching. He's not. It's wearing a very headphones. small plane, so I was like, there's just yeah. like a thin curve. And doesn't that mess with like the? The plane? Yeah, in 45 <laughs> minutes, you can have sex like five times in that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's such a thing as cuddling or foreplay. <laughs> yeah, this is a penetration only guy <laughs> right here. Like, yeah, yeah, what yeah, do you do for the rest of the 40 minutes of the <laughs> well, plane? If, right? if Chris is fucking on this plane, I don't think we have to worry about uh, <laughs> yeah. the yeah. plane shaking. Like, yeah, can I'm you sad. go by yourself Over. on this plane ride? <laughs> <laughs> if you just want to. You still have to pay for both. Yeah, you still have to pay for both. You don't have to wear the headphones, no worries. <laughs> I'll be quiet. <laughs> how much do they charge? Like, what is that? What does I that price look like? I don't know. Computer? Computer, how much does that charter cost? I don't yeah. know. What do I, what do I Google for that? Having oh, you know what to Google. Plane ride. Mile, plane ride. mile high plane ride. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call it, the mile high club. Yeah, yeah. Bathrooms are so small on planes, I don't understand. Love cloud, high mile club, is this it? Oh, no, that's a romantic dinner flight. <laughs> uh, they don't really have well, sex on that one? I don't think so. Yeah, one one thousand dollars. Oh look, tickets. that's it. That's oh, there you it. go. This insider getting uh, inside her business. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Joe used to usually has a drop of grand to have sex anyways. <laughs> a love cloud? Ew, because he makes a cloud on you. You know, like a little light stuff. Can range from nine ninety five to one thousand four hundred and ninety five. I wonder what the five hundred dollars increase is. Pilots are equipped is. with no noise canceling <laughs> headsets. And you know, sex sometimes position pillows. Sometimes the noise canceling headsets just make the noise clearer. Have you guys noticed that? It just like like you can hear very well. I feel Still. like you just got duped. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, mm, I don't know. I feel like I've never had ones that I could still hear what was going on. Oh, look, look at, at the interior. Wow. That's really not deck sexy. It out. This is like a van. It's yeah, a yeah van it is. It sky. is just like a van, isn't it? That's so funny. <laughs> That's like a love bed. Uh, yeah, it's going to take more than <laughs> one cum stained heart shaped pillow. <laughs> Though the pilot is separated from the couple by only a secured oh, scroll down. What? Curtain door. Secured it's just a curtain, curtain door. door. Oh, There's man. no such thing as a secured curtain door. <laughs> yeah, they can't put a real door on there. They can't have an actual cockpit. Uh -huh. Wow. Almost every single flight ends in complete happiness. <laughs> For the pilot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I didn't say it was going to be you. <laughs> People are saying they've had the best sex of their lives. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if, like, the pilot, like, jostles the plane a little bit, like... To or help? Fake, or, like, fakes, like, they're going to crash just to kind of up the thrill. Oh, like, then it's, like, add a little element of danger. Yeah, yeah, that's why there's the, the price range fluctuation. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you want to fear for your life, <laughs> it's going to be an extra 300. <laughs> wow. Weeks later, they're still talking about it. Mm. They're like, remember when that weird ass pilot was like, like watching <laughs> us, trying to put a hand in between. Yeah, well, remember when he told me to hold the curtain open? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a tiny plane. 
Oh, they have a red carpet when you walk up? Yeah, (laughs) but not when you walk out. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah. They just drop you off like a dump. Yeah, they're like, get the fuck out. A gas station. Yeah, they don't even slow the plane down. They just have you roll (laughs) out. (laughs) I think it'd be cool if they did the ones where you go, like, to the top of the atmosphere and then you, like, float in the air. (laughs) Zero gravity sex. That would would be tight. The company. Yeah. (laughs) Wow. Oh, that's not included. That's they, separate. They can upgrade limo transportation, champagne, dozen roses, chocolate for an extra fee. Wow. Wow. They can't even throw the chocolate in. I guess that you have to pay the uh, the guy for his discretion or whatever, too. Because that's expensive. How much are flights? I don't really know anything about Aaron. Uh, okay, there's a silver package, and then <laughs> that, that one starts at nine ninety five. You, you also this? you also have to have like a sixty five year old man. The silver package that's like the, six, the senior. Discount. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> are you an AARP member? <laughs> <laughs> nine ninety five. Oh wow! But f- you can go for ninety minutes in the air. But they can't go for ninety minutes <laughs> in the air. <laughs> I wonder, see, it has, like, the one below it where you go to the romantic dinner. Do you also get to have sex on that one? Do you get to have, like, the three-course <laughs> meal and then also have sex? But you now have you're going to gonna be too full. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah, you'd have to have sex first. And you have it after the, the first meal. I mean, after the first course. Oh, yeah. You get a light appetizer. Here's some Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> just making floofers. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, that's cool. I do like the idea of breaking up with someone and traveling, like going across country. Have you ever done anything like that? I, I have not. I've uh, immediately just like broken a lease, and that was that was enough for me. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> but probably just because I didn't have like friends that were willing to give me a package. Hello, gay, <laughs> lesbian, <laughs> affluent friends. <laughs> Yeah, I do like, uh, I do appreciate a rich person throwing money at a problem. I just would like more rich people around me. I could be that problem. I have problems. We have problems. Yeah. Like, you know, they're always doing those ads for like sponsoring like a child in Africa. And it's like, you could sponsor me. Yeah, sponsor me. Let's I also don't eat well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Vegas or somewhere. I don't really like Vegas. I got broken up with and then flew across country or across, uh, across the sea. But that was to go see the person that broke up with me yeah <laughs> oh, you, you went need, to hash it out yeah i needed face-to-face closure that's what i needed yeah. i was like I, I can't take the no over the uh the phone let me <laughs> say it right to my face say it to my face <laughs> in another country let me play a grand for you to say this to my face <laughs> but now you got miles so yeah. that's good. it was not the sexy of a flight either i sat in the middle seat took a tylenol pm and had a beard <laughs> <laughs> you leaned in i wonder what what happened there <laughs> i wonder, <laughs> wonder why she broke up yeah. <laughs> Is that yeah. real fun? it was definitely her fault not much <laughs> you sound real fun. Uh, that was funny. Sorry. I like that a little bit too much. <laughs> Take, yeah. I love how you're still scrolling on this. Like, we're going to get this. Are we putting oh, this Oh, sorry. In I'm the currently trying yeah, to buy like tickets <laughs> on my phone, actually. <laughs> 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 it's like, do they also provide a the partner woman? for you, or <laughs> yeah. do you have to, like, bring that? <laughs> I, would love, I would love if you got this full package, Chris, and then you just, like, show up with a blow up doll. <laughs> like, me and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just like holding, clutching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have her like feet taped to mine so she has to walk on. <laughs> no, it's, you know what it is? Is you're carrying a little uh, luggage, but then there's legs. <laughs> 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 you're like, like, what's that? You're like, like this like, is my wife. She's resting. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> She's tapping. I had to give her two of my Tylenol PMs. Yeah. I need a beer. <laughs> uh, somebody get the beer. Uh, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you guys have for Lone Star on this flight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love to run away. That sounds so fun. Also, like go like also it's beautiful. I remember the scenery in that movie. It did make me afraid of bugs. Like there were a yeah. lot of instances of bugs, but I thought they were just trying to highlight that she was like a woman and should be like scared of like nature or something. I, don't I know. think it was just like an old building. But oh, plus you know. their windows are always fucking open. Yeah, windows are open. She's, like, outside. She is, like, in rural Tuscany, not, like, Tuscany City. I don't, is that a city? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about <laughs> Europe. <laughs> Tuscany. What is that? Not uh, the metropolitan Tuscany. She's That like we all know and love. <laughs> uh, but she's in rural, you know, podunk Tuscany. Yeah, that's great. I like the handsome man thing. I think that's weird, though, when they're automatically in some romance. Yeah, and I mean... But I think what I like about it is, like, she's really, it's really a 
romance with herself that she's kind of rediscovering. And what does so she write? I don't remember. I think she writes fiction. Okay. But it was not clear what, I mean, she like also taught, she was also a professor because there's one student that she inspires and he comes visit her right at the end. That's interesting. And how old is she supposed to be? Do you know how old she's supposed to be? Because they, I feel like how Diane Lane 40s? is like one of those people that like they make look older. Like she's always like the older lady. Do you remember her in the perfect storm when she's like banging Mark Wahlberg and she's like, she still looks old. I was like, what the hell? Well, Hollywood does that all the time. They'll cast you in one movie and they'll be like, your brother and sister. And they're like, but next year is mom. <laughs> <laughs> And her name is Frances. Frances in the movie? Frances in the movie, yeah, it's great. How many times have you seen this movie? Oh, too many. <laughs> uh, probably like uh, three or four times. It was always like on during 38. the 38. 38, that's young. Time she can still filming, have a whole so other life. I don't life. know her age in the movie, though. In Diane the movie, she was probably like 87. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this is how this works. They gave her that Grace and Frankie lighting. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we're going to bleach the hell out of you. Wow. Young Sandra O oh as well. Unfaithful. That was so... Unfaithful was a movie that made me think that Richard Gere really could kill someone. Yeah. I, I believe think, it. I think everybody has it in them, though. Especially the whites. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this sentence says is what she has is a lot of pasta and sex. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who doesn't like pasta? That's living that, the dream. I think that's the best way to get over a breakup. Yeah, carbs and sex. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to think. Uh, I saw her in... Have you ever seen... Oh, I guess it's... You said writer, and it made me think of adult world. Have you seen adult world ever? No, is this a porn? Uh, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Okay. It's a guy that works at a porn shop, and the girl works at a porn shop. This. Evan I Peters. I have seen yeah. Adult World, yeah, and she is like obsessively masturbating, yes. and then it's like kind of like a meet cute, yeah. but she's never actually had sex. I think was the implication. Uh, well, she's like a cute writer, and she's like obsessed with being a writer. Is I don't know. It? She seemed. Maybe I have the wrong movie title. What did you just put on? Yeah, no, it's Emma Roberts. Emma, uh, Emma Roberts wants to be a writer so bad and she's oh. obsessed with John Cusack and she works at a porn store temporarily and hot ass Evan Peters is there. Okay, I'm thinking of a different thing where a woman has an obsessive problem. I think you're thinking of Ghost, ghost World. No, that's not Ghost World. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have hyped up my man Steve Buscemi. This is one of my favorite movies just because she's a terrible person. Uh she wants to be a writer, but she's, like, in that desperate phase of wanting to be a writer. I don't oh, know yeah. if you've experienced that, where you're obnoxious and want to share poetry with everyone. I, I have not. My poetry <laughs> would burn bridges. Yeah. She uh, she just keeps failing as a writer. Are Cusack and Emma Roberts together in this movie? No, she's obsessed with uh, him because he's a successful writer. Mm. Uh, she ends up with Evan Peters, spoiler alert. Is that Cloris Leachman, though? Uh, yes. Rep, Cloris Leachman. He's amazing. I love him. Another serial killer looking like person. Well, yeah. I mean, he's always cast as serial killer in the, uh, yeah, the FX series. All, uh, all John Cusack does in this movie is insult her. It's perfect. Yeah. I love that. I'm your older professor, and I will break you down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let me make you as bitter about the world as I am. Yeah, and you're going to find me really interesting <laughs> until I hit on you. <laughs> yeah. Then you'll Ew, write your first novel about me. Him. Yeah, you'll write your first. You're welcome. <laughs> I just gave you your inspiration. Yeah. I don't even like you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it because she's whiny. Emma Roberts is kind of whiny in every movie she's in, though. No. Yeah. She throws herself at him in such an embarrassing way that it makes my cheeks hot. Like at John Cusack, she's like, ah, fuck me. And he's like, no. <laughs> he's like, you're a terrible writer. Get the fuck out of my house. And she like cries. It's so funny. Yeah, but who cares if they're a good writer or not for the For, for the, the sex part? Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. He's just like, oh, I have a beanie and principles? Yeah. It's unbelievable. <laughs> See? Yeah, gross. Yeah, that's she Emma Roberts. Hot, though. She looks hot. Yeah. Yeah, good for John Cusack. <laughs> good for John Cusack. 
I don't know. I like the Ryder movies where they're like all existential crisis. No? Yeah. I didn't know. I like them too. I just can't think of one off the top of my head. But anything existential, I'm about it. Because, you know, on we, <laughs> we know each other. <laughs> uh, well, let's go into our next movie, which is Moonstruck. Have you guys ever seen Moonstruck? What is this? Ooh, what is this? This is a y- movie starring Cher and yeah. Nicolas Cage. I recently watched it at my mom's house <laughs> by myself. <laughs> it was like I was just trying to find something to watch, and I watched it for the first time. I like this movie. It's good. Cher won the Oscar for this movie. <laughs> Uh, she did. She won the Oscar the year this movie came out. Uh, it was written by John Patrick Shanley, who is a playwright. Um, he also writes another movie before this, which is also about a woman having sex with her husband's brother. So I think he has a thing for his brother's sister. Yeah. Yeah, I love Nicolas Cage in this movie. But yeah, it's good, Nicolas Cage. And Cher looks amazing. A Cher in the 80s is like... I yeah, mean, she looks good now, but like peak share. This is what it, this movie does well is it's an ensemble film. It's really about like this Italian family. So there's like scenes of her father, scenes of her mother, scenes of her grandfather. Um, but it's also about love and passion and how it makes us do stupid things. Yes, it's very Italian. <laughs> And one of the weirdest Nick Cage performances. But it's early Nick Cage where he's not like obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, it's er- <laughs> to the bed. To the bed. <laughs> I don't care. Take me to the bed. It's got the dad from Frasier. I love him. What is that guy's name? Oh, I don't know. Snap out of it. John Mahoney. That's his name. John Mahoney. That's the uh, name of the dad from Frasier. Oh, Frasier. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them all together giving each other shit. Yeah, and it's a lot of that. So it's like a lot of family moments in this, but also really good like Cher and Nick Cage just being over the top, operatic, dramatic uh, as they're falling in love with each other very quickly. You ruined my life. (laughs) You ruined my life, but I love you, Johnny. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good Cher. She was so, like, I just miss this version of her where it's like big hair and yeah i wasn't like a big share fan before this this made me like fall in love with share <laughs> yeah uh she i kind of feel bad for the brother though in this movie <laughs> danny aiello yeah but my problem with him in this film though is like pretty early on like you know he proposes to her he doesn't have a ring and mm-hmm. she's like she's like first off you know, what are you, you doing? You propose to a woman, you don't have a ring. Yeah, yeah she like, like coaches oh. him through it. Yeah, <laughs> she coaches him through it. He eventually goes, and then he goes to take care of his sick mother in Italy, another m- person traveling to Italy. Um, and then while he's away, like she's making all the wedding arrangements and stuff, and he still won't tell his dying mother that they're engaged. Yeah. And she's like, mm. have you told For whatever reason. And he oh, keeps yeah. putting it off. So he's like, he's a coward, and he has no backbone. <laughs> so I, I respect Cher for, you know, making the subconscious choice to leave his whiny ass in Italy. Yeah. Yeah. And what was Nicholas? Ca- he was like working at a bakery, right? He was working <laughs> at a bakery and he it's tragically big- lost his hand years before. So he's a one handed baker. And yeah. He's like a wooden <laughs> prosthetic. Which and, is and his, like, so and his girlfriend broke up with him because he lost his finger, right? His Yeah. His girlfriend dumped him. And so he's like. <laughs> super mopey and sad like oh no woman will ever love me because i'm a oh, one-handed baker <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's super dramatic but shares like you're an idiot and he's like oh i'm in love with you <laughs> and she's like you really are yeah i guess she kind of likes him because he's the complete opposite of his brother right yeah he's like impulsive he's impulsive and it's just like it's it's about there's like a theme throughout the movie it's about like passion you know and like sometimes you do things out of logic like marrying the brother who went to italy that would have been a logical choice because he was safe he had a good business stuff like that but then he asked first he (laughs) asked first uh, logistics you know um but then you know the heart wants what it wants you're you're struck by a feeling that's bigger than you yeah and you go with it 
That's what Cher does. And that was before Nicolas Cage, like, was crazy. And more authentic. Like, in the 80s, he was, like, a better actor. I mean, I think he was, like, more young, easy to please. But then, you know, once the money starts coming in, it's just like, he's yeah. like, I can do whatever I want. I can want. be Nicolas Cage in every movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have Let to act take ever every again. every movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. don't know. I am. Um, I just like young Nicolas Cage, like when he's all crazy and wily, you know, like I raising Arizona. I will say Arizona. I did see the new movie Nicolas Cage did, Pig, the one where it's kind of like t- uh, John Wick or Taken. Yeah. With a pig. I um, haven't seen that one. I watched Mandy. One, one of his best acting performances, like for the past, I want to say like five, ten years. Nice. But I saw the Nick one Cage where he was it. like in an art, like a children's restaurant or something, and he didn't speak the entire movie and then killed everybody. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know what that one was called. Was that the one where he's in a haunted? Uh, yeah, it's like the the bears are like killing people. Yeah, and it's stuff. like Freddy's Fun yeah. House. Yeah, Freddy's Fun House. Freddy's Fun yeah. House. Yeah, I saw that too. Him. That was actually pretty cool, though. Yeah, it but did he the, didn't. He said like one thing the whole movie, or he something. said nothing. No, he said nothing. I thought he said like one thing. Maybe I made that. He didn't oh, give one line of backstory. Of <laughs> oh. Yeah. He always does this. <laughs> what if that was like was something <laughs> that he did? <laughs> the big videos. Um, I was I was gonna say is I really like Cher and Mermaid. I don't know if you ever saw yeah. Mermaid, like with um. Yeah, that's uh, that's what's that called? It's got Danny DeVito in it, I think. Yeah, Danny DeVito is all in love with it, and she's like, "It'll never work. <laughs> It'll never work because I'm so tall. I'm so <laughs> tall, and you're so short." <laughs> and he was like a good man. He was a good man. Is this pig? This is this pig. Is pig the tr- uh, the trailer. <laughs> is that really what happens? They steal the pig. They <laughs> so steal funny. the pig, <laughs> and then he has to go hunt down the people that took it. Oh, that's exactly like John. That is John Wick. Exactly. <laughs> and he's like, I gotta <laughs> unlock my fucking <laughs> weapons. And he's like, pigs are actually smarter than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he has to. He's like a former renowned chef. So he has all these like underground chef connections to track down because it's a truffle. It's a truffle pig, so it hunts for truffles. truffles. Oh, that's an expensive pig. It's a very expensive pig. Truffles are uh, and he very also, expensive thing. Oh, I thought he, someone was gonna try to like eat the pig. <laughs> no, no, no. I like this movie because it combines the culinary ro- world with yes. like yeah, right up your alley <laughs> with like John Wick, but yeah. I haven't seen him shoot anything yet. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't shoot anything. He kind of like more bare knuckle boxes. Nice. Yeah, pigs don't use violence. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm going to watch that movie. I'm excited. You I, should. I, I think it's... I, I waited on it. I was like, oh, maybe. But then I went for it, and I was like, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, that's how I felt about it, too. I saw the trailer, and I was like, I don't know if I can take this Nicolas Cage. <laughs> He's I, a little I too serious for me. I saw the trailer in theaters, and then it was as soon as, like, there was a line in the movie theater trailer where it was like, where's my pig? And everybody in the audience lost. It. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Isn't okay, that the best when it. something serious happens and everyone in the audience just starts laughing? You're oh, like, all right, yeah. at least we're all not insane. <laughs> or you're watching like a really like tense drama and then something happens and then like you have that one friend that laughs at inappropriate things. So Me. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tori. I can't stop. This is like when I watched uh, Saving Private Ryan the other day. <laughs> I hadn't seen it in years and it's like in the first scene or whatever you know where everyone's they're like storming Normandy but there's one part where the guy loses his arm and he's looking for his like lost arm and I just lost it <laughs> yeah. like I could not stop laughing at it I was yeah. like what's wrong with me sicko <laughs> it was funny he did send the video <laughs> I'm like oh he's yeah. like look at yeah, like his two arm in the morning and I was like filming my own TV and sending it to my <laughs> friends I was like look at this guy looking for his arm <laughs> <laughs> idiot it was stupid it's hanging from you <laughs> <laughs> I was like what are you, what are you they're gonna sew the, your arm back on in the middle of this beach <laughs> and like you're gonna let the arm well, go Chris he was in shock. <laughs> yeah, like you would be if you lost your arm. Why I was laughing so hard is because I was imagining it being Tom Hanks and Castaway, and it was like a scene I'm I just had imagining <laughs> you losing an arm and then buying a plane ticket to go tell your arm <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah. I like, gotta go see, visit my, my arm in Europe. I gotta go heal. You don't want to be pasta. a part of my body anymore. <laughs> pasta, pasta is the way to go. Uh, so dumb. I forgot where I was gonna go with that. Cher's beautiful. Cher's I think we beautiful. should revisit Cher. Yeah. I mean, the the Cher Renaissance, 
not to get too deep into a share fandom, but like she's reinvented herself several times throughout her career. I feel like I haven't paid attention to her since the eighties. I don't know why. Like Witches of Eastwick, like have you seen? Yeah, it? she. Which is Beautiful. a weird movie. I love that movie. That's I don't know why, weird. but it's a weird movie. It's yeah. a weird movie. That's with Jack Nicholson, right? Yeah, I think it was like in the eighties as well. That was yeah. Jack Just like Nicholson. when she got all the acting out of her system, this is like the phase that Lady Gaga is in now. She's in Cher's 80s. <laughs> yeah, that's a good observation. Yeah. I think she's a good um, actress. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. It's uh, Susan Sarandon, Michelle Pfeiffer, Cher, and Cher. And Jack Nicholson. And Jack Nicholson. Do you guys ever see Witches of Eastwick? No, I'm not. It's the it whole reason. A, it's a bananas movie. It's the whole reason I like eating uh, cherries with the pits in them because I, I think of that scene when they're like casting the spell on him. Uh, Jack Nicholson plays the devil. Like he rolls into town and he like seduces the women. But they're like, it's a dark fantasy. Oh, look, dark fantasy. Com- I would, it was a comedy. I guess it's funny in the fact that they don't want to fuck him, but they all fuck him. Yeah. Well, that's the 80s for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not attracted to you, but yes, I will have sex with you to further the narrative. Yeah. And yeah. my career. And they're all hot. It's all weird. They're all hot. Michelle Pfeiffer. I mean, Susan Tran. Also, all bone structure. Again, my all bone, bone sh- structure. Wow. It holds through because they still look great. I love Michelle Pfeiffer. Really great actress. But I like Susan Sarandon, too. Like, young Susan Sarandon. Yeah, well, she was a sex icon, you know, because she had Bull, Bull Durham. Bull I Durham. love that movie. I rewatch it every year. I don't know why. That's, yeah, she's super steamy in that. And then also, you know, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah, Susan super Sarandon. gorgeous. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Did you ever watch the Banger Sisters? Yes, for <laughs> Susan Sarandon and for fucking, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Uh, Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. I like that Goldie Hawn was, like, coming apart that entire, like like, just, like, yeah, she's the like crazy one. She's like, I'm too old to be a groupie, but yeah, I still have groupie But I energy. love fucking. <laughs> there's a scene in that movie, boys, if you're thinking about watching, there's a scene in the Banger Sisters where they find their old shoebox full of famous men's dick pics, but like old fashioned dick pics, like on on a little yeah, Polaroid. On Polaroids. Yeah. They had film developed. You know, it was it's a beautiful thing. It's yeah. a beautiful and thing. they were like, oh, like they recalled every dick. Yeah, uh, they did. Let's romance. Yeah. yeah, I'll definitely be watching now. I think I think if people are going to send dick pics, they should at least have the the decency to develop the fo- film. Because then I want to look back on it nostalgically, maybe. I think that would be nice. Yeah. Like a like yeah, at least it's have like jarring a sun in the like a memento. Yeah. yeah. I want to forget the dick and then like and then be, be surprised by it. Like you're just yes. going through your drawer and you're like, oh. Yeah. Susan she Sarandon. looks kind of rough too. Yeah, she does. They made her look rough in a weird, like classy way, though. I love her. I don't like what they don't they chop off her hair or some shit, and she looks terrible. Yeah, they give Susan Sarandon a really short haircut. She fucked a lot. <laughs> Which one? That one's her daughter? Erica Susan Christensen? She, no, she, Susan Sarandon's daughter is the one with the bug eyes. That looks like Susan Sarandon. Look at that hair. Tinsley guy. Grimes? Is that her name? Uh, She's a brunette. I don't know. They showed her earlier. She was in Saved. She was the one with the leather pants that like. Yeah, that got together with, uh, with the, uh, okay. Macaulay Culkin. Culkin. Yeah, Eva in the wheelchair. Amori. She was Jewish. That's what it was. Yeah, she was. And Mandy Moore kept trying to save her. Yes. Oh my God. I like when they put bacon in her locker. It always made me want to put bacon in someone's locker. Yeah. Like that, I don't like. Not somebody that I liked. Yeah. I wouldn't do that to somebody I liked. Yeah. Oh, look at her stupid hair. It's so bad. <laughs> I was glad that at the end of this movie, one of them wasn't dying. Yeah. Damn, what a way to find out that your wife uh, got digged down on the regular. But wouldn't that be kind of cool? Do you think that, like, elevates your dick if you're like, who else? And then you're, like, you're among top-tier people <laughs> and some roadies. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just don't think men are like that compliment. No. I, I had a great aunt that uh, slept with one of the members of ZZ Top. And then she sucked your dick? That was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit traumatic for me, but I, I still use it as a credit, absolutely. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I don't know even like how. I think my mom told me that it's not like you know she went Wait, around and told did, the whole family. How did she? How did she? How did this come up? You're just like sitting on the couch one day and she's like, you know, she was a uh, she was like a flight attendant. I think like through like the 80s and the 90s, and uh, Ooh, I don't know. My love around. cloud. Damn, <laughs> the original love cloud. Yeah, the original love cloud for sure. Wow. Yeah. I, but yeah. I, I liked her. I mean, I thought she was a lot cooler after that. I don't know why, but I was like, Listen to yeah. so much ZZ Top. <laughs> yeah. She's uh. like, what were their beards like? <laughs> <laughs> Did it tickle the back of your neck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh. Did they do beard play? <laughs> Roadies. Just put some flowers in it. Probably. That's what I liked about Almost Famous is they made like the, the Band-Aids look like cool. The whole like roadie thing. That, that was a cool movie for Roadies. Yeah. yeah. Roadies don't get enough credit. They do so much work and do <laughs> a lot of the heavy lifting. <laughs> they keep up all the morale for the band. They keep up all the morale. We are band-aids. I don't know. We diverted from Moonstruck so far that I was trying to have to go back to something. Um, I did have a side tangent. Just Tell on, me. Well, it was, uh, I did know a guy whose wife left him for Prince. What? Oh. Yeah. I think I'd be cool with that if I was married. Right? Like, You're going to leave me for Prince? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I would tell people. Like, yeah. yeah like, it wouldn't even be, like, sad. Yeah, like, it, oh, it no, goes, she had to go. Prince, Prince was sitting on her. And then me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like... You're, I'm the one that came before, you know? yeah. And and also, I don't think people would even feel bad for you. They'd just be like, "Yeah, that makes sense." <laughs> That's the thing. It's just like you're not winning. Like, who wins the friends? They're like, they're all hanging out with her because she's. Do you think he was okay? Oh, with damn, that is so true, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay with listening to Prince. Yeah, I I mean, at some point, it's like. He's probably gotten fine with it over the years because it's just like, what do you think? He can minute? only come to Purple Rain now. Like, yeah. oh. <laughs> the film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watching him get on Why that don't motorcycle. You heal yourselves in the waters of Lake <laughs> Minnetonka. <Minotaur. laughs> takes him like two hours. <laughs> Whenever the credits come on, that's when I just buzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Prince. He was hot for a minute. Now, I don't know. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead. Now, I don't know. <laughs> Towards big necrophilia. <laughs> yeah, I am. Let's mm. dig him up. I was just thinking about that. He'd probably still be hotter than like 50% of the population. Bone <laughs> yeah. yeah, but. My God, this I corpse like is just really doing it for me. He got scary. Like, I don't know. I wasn't a fan toward the end of his life. I guess, I, I don't, when you get older, you look weird. Right? <laughs> I think so. Right? You just start shriveling into yourself. You 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 shrink because your muscles lose bone density. So you is get, that what it is? Yeah. So you physically get shorter and like a little smaller. Yeah, my grandpa got short out of nowhere. Like yeah. He was tall, and then I was like, "Grandpa, sit up." And he was like, "I am." <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. I'm most worried about like bad posture, having a big hunch on Mulder. That's what I'm worried about. You, you're gonna. I, I do happen. not want that. Yeah, it's oh. gonna happen. Yeah. It's so so. My posture is all right. <laughs> I'm yeah. saying that for me, not you. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a hump back myself mostly from carrying these big old titties. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're definitely off moon truck. Ah, that's okay. That's how it happens. Uh, we can go into the next movie, uh, which is Made of Honor. Oof. I watched this one today because I was like, I haven't seen this in a while. and I saw it when it came out. Yeah, I think I saw it when it came out. Or maybe I watched it by myself because that's what I do with like a lot of like late night movies. I like watch a, bu- a billion trailers and then just like put something on. The yeah. Oh, I hate this guy. Yeah, this is a Patrick Dempsey Why do you movie. hate this guy? Grey's Anatomy made me hate this dude. Oh, my God. You used to watch Grey's? My mom watched Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, my mom watched Grey's, then I was just hovering <laughs> in the doorway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, wait, mom, pause it there and For leave the all room. Se- all the seasons. <laughs> Why does she have to leave the room? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. So, basically, uh, Patrick Dempsey's character has gotten super wealthy off of inventing the the coffee sleeve. Car- the coffee sleeve. Um, so, he really doesn't work ever in this movie. He's got a friend. They've never slept together. She ends up getting engaged to this guy from But he Scotland. sleeps with everybody. He yeah. sleeps with everybody. And then he decides once she's, like, away that he's in love with her. And then he, as her maid of honor, he goes to break up the wedding and confess his love for her. Yeah, which is annoying. Super annoying. Like, so annoying. 
Yeah, you, but you had 10 years. Yeah, you had our whole lives. Yeah, and you wait to this. And she obviously is into him, and he's just like, I, I, there's more bitches I haven't fucked. Yeah. I'm, I'm a coffee sleeve millionaire. <laughs> I'm going to get her so many sleeves. Yeah. Oh, and then he's she's with the redhead. Yeah, she's with this, uh, like, Scottish lord. Kevin McKidd. Is that his name? Yeah. The one I Googled thing, that. I didn't know that was up There's a scene in this movie, which I feel maybe the guys will take exception to, but there was, like, this part where he tries to challenge the Scottish guy to a game of basketball to, like, you know, be macho and one-up him. I had a boyfriend do that. Yeah, but then the Scottish guy's like, this is really more of a women's game in Scotland. <laughs> I was like, what Scottish women are playing basketball? That's so funny. Well, they're probably really tall. I guess so. But yeah, they got rugby and stuff. Is that a real thing? Is, is basketball more of a woman's sport in, in Scotland? I don't think that's true. I think he was just being like... Uh, He's just pretty like, hilarious yeah. line to say. There's a lot of toxic masculinity in this movie. Which yeah, like breaking up was, a wedding. Yeah, considering this is written for women, I guess, this is a super toxic masculine film. And everybody just assumes he's gay because he's the maid of honor. Yeah, I feel like that's like a, a spin on a, the my best friend's wedding because that's, I mean, he was like the gay guy or whatever. Um Oh, I, yeah. I just remember this movie, like, thinking that Patrick Dempsey was so freaking annoying because they included all that, like, physical humor or whatever, like, the things where he's, like, knocking over trays, like, every five seconds yeah. and, like, drawing all this, like, annoying attention. And I'm just like, dude, you act like a millionaire. You're so inconvenient, like, all the time. Like, what yeah. are you doing? And the whole, like, oh, you won't be around for six weeks? Oh, my God. And then showing how he's, like, oh slowly realizing that yeah. he's codependent. Yeah, he, exactly what he does is he takes all of the, like, women he's casually been sleeping with on all of the date friend dates, dates. Friend yeah. dates he would go with Hannah on. He'd be like, no, so what you're going to do is you're going to tell me what I want to eat at this bakery. And she's like, why? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it'll be fun. It'll be a game. And she's like, a cookie. He's like, no, 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 you have to be specific. He's, she's like, a big cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, you're not, you're not Hannah. You're not Hannah. And that's how he realizes he's in love with Hannah. Yeah. Is because. Because some dumb girl can't, can't order a her. cookie. Yeah. <laughs> can't order the like, specific cookie. And I don't know if I like weird oatmeal games. or chocolate chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she ordered all the fried food at dim sum, but I only like the glass noodles. <laughs> <laughs> only my friend Hannah knows that. What does yeah. Chris Messina play in this movie? Who's Dennis in this movie? He is a attorney. Okay. Uh, but also... Whitney like, Cummings was in it? I don't remember her in Whitney it. Whitney Cummings plays a friend of uh, Hannah's. So she's like one of the like bridal mm. group. Mm. Um, so you really don't see Whitney Cummings shine. You don't see the cum shot. Um, sorry. That's what the movie really needed. The joke was right there. Do they end up together? I can't remember. They do end up together. I hate that. He makes a play, and at first she's like, no, but then he clumsily, like, falls off a horse into the church and was like, I love you, Hannah, and your hair looks stupid. (laughs) And she's like, shut up. I love you. <laughs> I think Kevin McKidd looks like a much nicer guy in this movie. Yeah. Um, for some reason, choice. Patrick Dimsey just comes off as such like a tool to me. I don't, I, I guess that's what he does in the movie, right? That's that's the thing is yeah. like he plays that part very well, but it's like one of those things where like the romance at the end, because we have to buy the love story, right? You don't, I feel like we don't buy it this whole movie. I don't buy it because it's all about like him and his needs. And she's like the person that's always there for him. And he's like, takes her for granted continuously, continuously. And then like rubs his other relationships in her face half the time. He's like, Oh yeah. Bang that girl, bang that girl, going with that girl. He slept with her friend. He slept with busy Phillips. Yeah. In this movie. Yeah. Love her. Does that also mean that she's not really actually into her fiance? Like the whole time she's still willing to drop him. They have like a whirlwind. Cause she goes on this like six week trip to, you know, the UK. And so they have this whirlwind romance romance, and then she was going to come back stateside and then he proposed spur of the moment. So they throw this wedding together super quickly Mm. and it kind of becomes clear that maybe she doesn't know him all that well. 
Um, and maybe he doesn't know her because, like, he, like, killed everything on the dining menu. Like, he shot the deer, like, the venison. and uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he plays the bagpipes, and he practices every night. And she's like, every night? <laughs> like, he's super <laughs> Scottish. They do, like, a whole Highland Games thing. This is really just advertising for Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. Like we don't play with basketballs. We just shoot animals. But, like, look at that huge-ass ring. Of course she said yes. He has, like, his family had multiple houses. They had a house for every season, so the wedding was going to be in their summer house. But there's a spring, fall, and winter that we didn't see. And I'm going to say, I'm sorry, you coffee cup king, <laughs> but I could be living in a freaking Where are all your houses? Where yeah. are your houses? Yeah. Yeah. Coffee seat. I think she should have stayed with the Scottish, dude. I think I think Chris wants her to be people. safe. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want her to give anything to Patrick Dempsey. Yeah, uh, I he didn't do too many wait, movies. After I don't this, remember. So like Patrick Dempsey was like terrible. I'm trying to think why Chris doesn't like him in Grey's Anatomy. What that was when he was like, Anatomy? what did he do in Grey's? He like gave know. her the runaround. That show you just know. irritates you me in know, general because it's so yeah. melodramatic. What did he do? What did he do to you, Chris? What did he do to you specifically? I don't know. Was, was it because he my wouldn't? mom was just doing to him? Oh, <laughs> you're like, mom, well, my dad's in the me. other room, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're gonna get a divorce in ten years, but come on. <laughs> Patrick Dempsey's like drinking the milk out of your fridge. Nothing but a, <laughs> nothing but a loose hand towel. Yeah. It's like the ring. He just comes right out of the TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off to your but his mom. hair looks great wet. <laughs> God damn! No one's ever looked so sexy coming out of a well before. <laughs> <laughs> Make dreamy. Yeah. He's an American actor and race car driver. Do you see this on Oh, Wikipedia? my gosh. Are you kidding me? Is he really a race car driver? Or I is mean, look at those like eyes. Of course he or is. Or has he sat in a race car? Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I love know, right? him in Can't Buy Me Love and Lover Boy. That's like my fucking growing up movies. Yeah. 1980s. Yes. Can't Buy Me Love. I didn't understand... Uh, the Clearly, other. he didn't learn anything because he tried to buy love yeah. and made him honor. Yeah, he literally and this he gets the girl on this one too. He does buy her. Yeah, yeah give her a thousand dollars, which in today's market, you could go have sex in an airplane for that money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they ride Today? away on a like a uh, lawnmower at the end of the movie, and then a bunch of guys try to do this in like rom rom coms and like the nineties. Yeah. Patrick Dempsey invented OnlyFans. But this the <laughs> other movie, go back. What's it called? <laughs> Uh, the one Loverboy? Loverboy Loverboy so disgusting I, I've talked about this movie before but if you haven't seen Loverboy as a man the whole thing is that he like it becomes a playboy and starts fucking all these girls while his girl is at school because he gets kicked out of school uh, and can't afford to go back to school uh, so he becomes a male escort. Oh, like a gigolo. Yeah. Oh, you guys have talked about this movie on this yeah. show before haven't and you? he's like yeah he's a hoe for show uh, but they all the women order extra anchovies, and then he goes over and he's like their lover boy. And at the end of the movie, he gets the fucking girl. She's like totally cool. Is he in high school in this movie? He's in college. He gets kicked out. He can't go back to college because he lost his scholarship because his grades were bad. I wonder why. But his dick was. <laughs> but good. then, but then he learns how to fuck. And he fucks Kirsty Alley and some other. Yeah. Oh, and his mom tries to order extra anchovies <gasps> and he like goes to the hotel and like sees that it's his mom and then he's like uh i can't do this anymore <laughs> yeah dude yeah because you're about to bang your and then mom she talks him into it it's crazy <laughs> or maybe she just wants to see how good he is at sex after having sex with like 50 people there's a whole scene where they're like they're doing something at the end of the movie i remember being a little kid and they're like they, like it goes to black or whatever and she's like oh my god and he's like i learned a few things <laughs> and i'm like ah. even as a little girl i was like why is she taking him back so yeah. Hopefully he yeah. got tested before. <laughs> no, he gave her yeah. everything. In the 80s, I hope he got tested. <laughs> oh, my God. Somebody recorded it like that. That's weird. Patrick Dempsey, I'll, I'm just saying, his hair has been great. Like uh, He does have nice hair. I'll give him that. He did a good job being, a, I don't know why he's a race car driver, but like, why am I scared for Patrick Dempsey? No. That's uh, the magic of editing. I'm just like, oh, my God, guys, he's got a surgery. Yeah, he's got a surgery in the morning. He shouldn't be. It's a, it's a wonderful day to race lives. Or what did he <laughs> say? <laughs> what was this stupid expression? It's a wonderful day to 
Reese people. Uh, McDreamy. Yeah, I hate him in this. Yeah, but why do you hate him? I don't Him know. and Meredith were in love. He probably isn't Grey's Anatomy still going too. I it think it's about to start its nineteenth season. I thought it was twentieth. I think it's the. I think it's nineteenth. It's still going. <laughs> I like how I started this by saying I don't watch the show and I know the most about it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You were uh, through osmosis. I or know. It's like he it loves. Is. It's like this fucking series. You go home. You have. You sleep. You're like your mom. Big mom, you didn't shirt. watch any episodes without me, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I will literally kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like him, mom. I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. It's gonna start its 19th season. You do know wow. more than me. Wow. About Grey's Anatomy, nothing else. Everything. Else. Big fan. Everything else. That's a. I just hyperbolic. feel like what's the what's the the girl's main name, the main character in the show. Her name? Meredith yeah. Gray. Oh. Meredith Gray. <laughs> oh, yeah, Meredith Gray. Of Real Grace life. Alone she, Hospital. Oh, I don't, she's so melodramatic. This is, yeah. They don't even let her talk anymore, I don't think. She's in a coma? No, she came out of the coma. Oh. I, I, I left off, I'm a season behind, so. I try. I try so hard. I like Sandra O. Oh. But I fast forward yeah. during everybody's Sandra parts. Sandra O's on to bigger and better things. No, she's like the badass in this. I'm she's like sassy and talks shit Speedman. to everyone. I heard that Scott Speedman is on it, so I'm going to watch this season. I fucking love him. Do you know who Scott Speedman is? Yeah, I know who Scott. He was on Felicity. Yeah, Felicity. Oh, my God. I was so in love with him and Felicity. Although I hated Felicity in that I show. hated, yeah, I hated her. I hated how she, like, was like, pay attention to me. And he's like, nah. She <laughs> was one of those characters who's just like, I've talked to you for five seconds, so I'm going to change school <laughs> and move to New York City mm -hmm. and make it work. And yeah, like, and stalk you. And then he's going to randomly date her. Is he's going like to randomly her. date her. I would just be like, you are so crazy. Yeah. You moved what for me? I think he does that. He goes, what? <laughs> like yeah. He's so confused. Like, he didn't ask you to no. move. You have literally Chris. never spoken. <laughs> yeah. She didn't ask you <laughs> to move. <laughs> she didn't ask me, but I offered him multiple times. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Seriously, I can disrupt my whole life. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Hey, there's not any real doctors on this show, but there's a real nurse. Wow, yeah. Chris, a fun fact. How do you know all this? <laughs> I'm <stuff>? reading it. <laughs> oh, okay. See, I'm bad on the computer. When I was doing Joey's show, I started uh, he just the football show. I started googling what <laughs> what kind of grass they use on football fields. <laughs> 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 That's what I was spending the whole time doing. Wow, you're Didn't doing tell him to Google everything. <laughs> yeah. you're doing a good job. I was like, I can't spell any of these players' names, so I'm just gonna Google the grass. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. Are you? Did you watch any of uh, Bridgerton? I did. I watched the first oh, season. I didn't. Thank is you there for a the second season? Core, Shandy. Yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, Tori I, loves Bridgerton. <laughs> you got a joke about Bridgerton. I do have a joke about Bridgerton. The second season hasn't come out yet, but I'm excited for it. I uh, have not seen Bridgerton. I wanted to watch Ooh, it because everybody he, was obsessed. It's and got a, some hot, steamy it sex. It does have good sex. And main character, the guy, the Duke dude, does go down a lot, which I appreciate because he he's like. downtown. He fucking. Should I should take notes when I'm them, watching this? Or yeah. <laughs> he's showing them all the different places that women can receive fellatio, and I enjoy that. Yeah, and I also like that this is a period piece that isn't just white people. I enjoy that like too, which a lot of people did not uh, like. Like, I don't know. They were like, it's not historically accurate. And it's like, yeah, but it's hot as fuck. It's a <laughs> fiction. Yeah, yeah, it really it takes me out of this <laughs> <laughs> fictional narrative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's like articles were written about this, I promise. But like, yeah. I, yeah, I know. I wrote them. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's hot and he fucks. I think it'd be cool if we still dressed like this. I think, it's a, I think it's a vibe. And also what's really nice about that empire waistline is it hides your tummy really well. Mm. Yeah, I just don't like my tits like all the way up here. Yeah, like, they're going to be when, up. You, when you let them down, like it hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like taking off high I've, heels. I've gotten so day. like far and like not like protesting bra wearing and I don't want to go backwards. I just think I would take everyone a lot more seriously. <laughs> with their tits up to their chin? Yeah. Is that yeah, what it's specifically is that what it women? Takes yeah, yeah, yeah. For you to take us seriously? <laughs> That's the only way. 
<laughs> as long as you present your tits well, I can take it there. Present <laughs> your tits. <laughs> present your tits. So I may rip, rub my bald head. Instead of Where's your corset? <laughs> <laughs> we have to like Now show. I have to make eye contact? This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bridgerton's hot. You guys should watch it. Bridgerton mm-hmm. is hot. Yeah. Take notes. And then there's the whole thing where he uh, gets raped. That sucks. Uh, that's 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 a bit of a boner killer. Yeah. I do like that it's the reverse, though, that like women are taking back the night. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas Cage. Mm-hmm-hmm. Diane Lane. Was there anything I wanted to say about Diane Lane? I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it. Is there anything like you want to say to Diane Lane? God. You are a gem. Like, honestly, (laughs) like, truly, I feel like you smell like florals. Ooh, Uh, yeah, but like a clean floral, like floral and linens. Yeah, like a bounce sheet. Ooh, yeah, like a gain. Yes, love it. But like the, like not overly aggressive on the scented. Yeah. Yeah. And she looks like she like flows in the wind like that too. Like just like. Yeah. I I liked her in um, a really nice like quinoa salad or something yeah and She'd stepmom eaten, right she was in stepmom wasn't she isn't she isn't Thailand no. in stepmom oh you're yeah. thinking of susan Sarandon. oh no i'm thinking of uh am i thinking of susan Sarandon? yeah yeah oh they're Damn. redhead Ooh, but look at that dress in the top left Ooh, yeah. well, ow. she's just so i feel like they've always cast nice her <laughs> And like, see, I could take this person seriously. She's presenting her breast crack. <laughs> <laughs> Learning something new every day about Chris. Uh, I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> yeah. There's some movie, Must Love Dogs, that they cast her in, and the entire movie, uh, it's like John Cusack, and the yeah. entire movie, they try to get her, like, they make this joke about her being like fixed up with her dad the entire time, and that bothered me. And they made her seem so much older than she is, and I feel like that's, like, a lot of movies with her is they make her seem like uh, the older woman, and I guess she does have that look about her, but I think that she looks very, like, like sexy, pretty, like, yeah. dusky woman, you know what I mean? Like, uh... She, she's a seductive older yeah, lady. You but, know? like, she's they dress like... her down, and then they act like it's not Oh, and she's always divorced. She's always a divorced lady. Like, yeah. In every movie. Because she's strong and independent. Toward <laughs> no, I think it's because her glow up isn't that hard. Like, honestly, they act like they act like divorced women or whatever. They're like, oh, we got to do a makeover. Yeah, she's uh-huh. not like, she's not, if she's not with a man, it's because she chooses not exactly. to Exactly. Okay. She's, she's not Diane like, fucking she's lame. She's not a dog. This isn't like a she's all that yeah. remake where it's just like, oh, he took the glasses off her. Yeah. She's all that really did fucking make that so many of those movies. Well, you know who produced She's All That? Who? The Weinstein Company. Shut up mm. right yes. now. It I did is not a know Weinstein that. Weinstein Company production. Wow. Oh yeah, I forgot about this movie. Oh man, this movie's iconic. Oh, is this the one? Yeah, this is the. the she takes off the glasses, right? That's she so takes funny. off the glasses, and they're like, "Well, she's really hot because <laughs> she has knew. contacts." Oh my god! Every time I take off my glasses, I never get that reaction. It's really it's disappointing. Really funny, you though, can't see their shock and horror. She's an art major, or like wants to study art, and her paintings are terrible. Oh, remember when they made fun of it in Scary Movie or whatever it was? And it was like, mm-hmm. look at your painting. And it was like, yeah, stick yeah. finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I forgot it's got hot ass. What's her name? I haven't She's seen her tits true, yet. True yeah. Blood. True Blood. That was my favorite part. All the nudity. In a pack of oh, yeah. She was super hot. And uh, she ended up with a uh, Bill, whatever. Skarsgård. No, 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 no. She ends up with uh, the other one. I love Skarsgård. But she ends up with the oh, short guy. Right, right, right. He's English. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in this one. This uh, is not the trailer. Is this no, the scene? This is the scene. Oh, okay. Chris wanted to this see is the this scene. Oh, my uh, bad. No. <laughs> password. And that's hey, a this is the number one on Young yeah. Kieran Culkin before Kieran succession. Kieran Culkin is my fucking love of my life. I really? want to I want to marry him. I love okay. Succession. I love how like fucking weird That's he about is. Doors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. Nori likes him young. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's the love of my life right there. <laughs> so they did a reboot of She's All That with the TikToker, um, one, one like this famous TikTok girl. I don't know what her name is, and it's called He's All That. It's terrible. It's mostly product placement. It's like let's have some of this her? free Pizza Hut pizza. But there's a scene in the original She's All That that they really miss. Addison Ray, that's who it is. Uh, 
there's a scene in the original where he goes to see one of like Lainey's experimental art <laughs> shows and she literally comes out of a trash can in like a <laughs> unitard with face paint and then he does this epic poetry while he's playing hacky, hacky sack, sack about how he doesn't want to do what his dad says or go to the college that his dad wants and uh and everybody loves it and everybody loves it and i was like uh, I know that they're trying to like modernize it so they don't put any of that because it's stupid and lo- lame. But I was like, that's such a great scene. I love that scene. And I they like, d- they make the like lighting go with everything. And it's like, yeah, it's weird. What is this? This is, this the, is the He's, he's All That, that trailer. with Addison Ray. I don't like in like movies now where they do that, they do like the social media. Yeah. She's an influencer in yeah. the movie. And they like show the likes coming up on screen and stuff. And then they get the original girl. Uh, oh, it is the original girl. She's all young looking still. They could have just remade it with her. Yeah. And then they have um, Matthew Lillard do the no. principal voiceover. So I was like, did Matthew Lillard become the principal of the school? Also one of the best <laughs> character performances by Matthew Lillard. Other than Scream, of course. But like. Yeah. I like SLC Punk, Matthew SLC Lillard. SLC Punk. Ugh, so what a babe. What a fox. I'm an artist <laughs> photographer. Yeah. I got my beanie, beanie and flannel on. <laughs> I know. Big beanie energy. <laughs> oh, and he's like That's a, the hot guy yeah. that's yeah. not hot? <laughs> Look I'm how supposed rich to pretend he is. he's not <laughs> hot. Well, he spends time with horses all day. He's like a horse boy. What the fuck? <laughs> God, are they going to cut his hair? Is that what's going to happen? They're, They're going to cut, cut his cut fucking his wig off? And take his yeah. beanie. <laughs> They're like, and take your shirt off. That's it. That's the whole transformation. <laughs> <laughs> and then look, oh my God. freaking cut. Oh, now she notices? <laughs> she couldn't tell before. No, she couldn't she tell. She couldn't tell. No. Nobody could. Wait a minute. Is he the guy from Karate Kid? From fucking Cobra Kai? I don't know. I don't watch that show. No. Uh, no, Robbie Keane. Is that him? That's him, Tanner Buchanan. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, he's hot in that, too. He's young. Ugh. <laughs> Tori. Gross. <laughs> you're First ha- Kieran, and now this. You're going to have a. You're going to have a older woman, younger man. Yeah. Story. Uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Oh, he's Paul. dead? Paul, Paul Walker. Walker. I'm just <laughs> Yeah, that's Dang. why the Fast and the Furious movies couldn't continue. <laughs> Wait, they did. They, the old franchise <laughs> they will thrived. Never die. I'm uh, surprised they haven't brought him back as like a hologram or some shit. That's so weird that they do that with Carrie Fisher to me and um, Star Wars. It was weird. I was not. They're still doing it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the uh, hologram. The hologram or the in the Irishman where they're like, let's make. Oh, somebody Robert, look younger. Someone, someone look younger, but he still looks 45. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, young kid. And I'm like, yeah. it's still Robert. Yeah. Gosh. Like, guys, all the computer in the world isn't going to change that. No. Like, he, I'm old. Because he still old. has that that old man, like, weight on him, too. Yeah. Like, it's like yeah, just, just hire a younger person. Or. Like, you can't yeah. afford one more or contract. Or make a cartoon. Because <laughs> that's yeah. what it looks like. It looks like you have a guy in a and cartoon. And shorten the movie. God damn, the movie is so it long. It was very long. I didn't finish it. They should have done it as a mini I only watched the first episode. <laughs> I had like the first hour. The first uh, episode. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think that's a good place to wrap up. Uh, what was I going to say? Hmm. We learned a lot today. We learned so much tonight. I'm really excited about Love Clouds. Love Clouds. Maybe you're going to see Pig. Maybe I'm going to see Pig. And then we're going to have you back on so that we can just do talk about Nicolas Cage the entire time. There's a lot of Nicolas Cage rom-coms or stuff like that. Or yeah. rom-droms as Rom-drums, well. Rom-droms, yeah. Because he'd be falling apart. Like, he'd be falling apart or falling in love with women who were falling apart. Yeah, he like that waitress messy. thing. Yeah. yeah, Or the Elizabeth Shue. Yeah. Elizabeth Shue, yeah. Oh, God. She was so hot in that movie. I can't think of it. Leave Las Vegas. <laughs> What's the Nicolas Cage one where he's like in the cult and he dresses up as a bear? You know what I'm talking about? Oh. I think you're describing they... Midsummer, which is not Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's like it's what uh Wicker, Wicker, Man? Yeah, Wicker, Wicker Man. Man. Wicker Man. It's a remake Man. of Wicker it's a Man. Remake. Yeah, it's a remake of Wicker Man. But he like punches this like woman in the face of that. It's it, why he's in the and bear Chris costume. Chris was inspired. Because yeah. it's a it's a woman convent or like a woman secluded yeah. island. Yeah. She didn't have her breast presented properly, so she was asking for it. <laughs> Dang. 
Well, I guess I gotta be minding my P's and Q's for this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get clocked. Oh my god. Not by me, by Nicholas, exactly. obviously. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, he was talking uh, through Nicholas. Uh, <laughs> the spirit of Nicholas Cage possessed him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. That's, what, that's what I've argued in courts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm so happy that you came by and uh, did this podcast with us. And uh, I hope that you had fun. Uh, I forgot to mention that this podcast is sponsored by eatmetexas.com. So please visit eatmetexas.com and type in the promo code toxic actually to receive a discount on edibles. Also eatmetexas.com. Uh, I'm going to have my address scrolling down here so you can send the edibles directly to me. There it is. Uh, eatmetexas.com. You have to be 21 or over. We recommend the Sherpa. Uh, again, this is legal THC. This is supplement. Uh, supplement. Ask me if I'm 21. Yeah, you are 21, though. Um, we like the Sherpa. They're supplements. I it's think a great it- website that definitely works. <laughs> eatmetexas.com. Check it out. Yes. Uh, and that's been Toxic Actually. Brett, thank you so much thank for you coming. For me. Uh, we're going to have Brett's social media down here. Any final words for uh, toxic people listening? Uh, if you're toxic, seek treatment. <laughs> there is help for you. At eatmetexas.com. Mm. Thanks so much. Bye.